What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 34 of our blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. We are on route, uh, what route is this? 16? Uh, yes, route 16. Uh, in the last episode, we did route 15, a lot of exploration, a lot of Pokemon catching, uh, a lot of backtracking. And now we are in a new zone with some grassy areas and a trainer chilling in the grass here. And uh, he wants to do something about the island's champion and scientist Reed. Two Pokemon. So let's rush through this. Okay, cool. So uh, this guy's second Pokemon is actually a Muck. And so probably if it's a Lolan, we're going to get to see an Alolan Muck. And it is glorious. It is glorious. Oh, and the colors are moving. <laughs> After seeing the uh, Alolan Grimer, this is one Pokemon I was actually curious about, but I guess I always forgot to put him back on the team. So, very cool looking. Very cool looking Alolan Muck. I really like it. But as cool looking as it was, we still had to take him out. And uh, I guess now we... We run around in the grass for a little bit, try and see if there's anything unique here, if it's kind of the same, just a duplicate of the grassy area we saw on Route 15. Looks like it might be. There's a Pelipper here as the first battle. So I just don't... I, I'm not even... If it's just a Pelipper there, I don't want to spend too much time in this zone. We had a really battle-heavy episode last episode. And I don't mind that so much. I just I don't want to spend all of my time... Searching for uh, searching for new Pokemon in areas that are really redundant, especially because most other LPers are kind of done with their LP by now. Uh, I unfortunately don't have quite as much free time as I would like to devote to a Let's Play, and so as a result, I'm kind of behind everyone else. The Nectar lets Oracorio change forms. Oh. That nectar that lets Oracorio change forms is a bit different from one meadow to the next. So, a while ago we saw an Oracorio that looked a different color than my the one I caught. So, I guess what this is saying is, wonder what Oracorio would look like if you tried some of Ula Ula's meadow's nectar. So, I guess you use nectar and Oracorio changes form. So, this is Ula Ula meadow. Uh, I want to read this sign real quick. Uh, it's just telling me that this is Ula Ula Meadow. Okay. Uh, this gentleman, let me guess, you were wondering what a golfer like me would be doing in a meadow like this. Well, your shirt matches the nectar. Defeat all the trainers in the meadow first. So, we have a side quest of... Uh, a side quest of a boss battle of the Ula Ula Meadows. We see something shining over here. What's this? Is this another really special Zygarde core? Is that what's going on? No! Arg, I can't help but want to battle when a trainer is present. Welcome to everybody in this GD world. Even little kids running around throwing Pokeballs at people trying to knock them out. Or a Corio. It's red. What does that mean? Let's make this a learning opportunity for us. So the last one... Oh, hold up. It says Crab Hammer is super effective. So, and it's red. So what's fire type? And it has roost, so it's still flying. Yeah, I guess so. So, uh, I guess when they change forms, they also change typing. That's kind of cool. Those guys must have some mean coverage then, uh, or else no stab move at all. Uh, we got a repeat ball, which is good. If I wanted to catch another Oracorio, I could throw that at it. What's going on in the grasses here? Ah, oh, Rabombi! What's up, little baby Nick? It hurts me to kill a, a little baby Nick like that, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. No, not another one. This is a uh, pretty large area from the looks of things. I don't want to miss out on any items here, but it also kind of looks like 
Oh, maybe I can't... I can't actually get off the beaten trail, except in very predetermined spots. We've got a trainer battle here. Always sad to watch Kamala go down, but down he does go. Kamala. The fact that he doesn't evolve, it kind of paints a picture. I start noticing trends about some of the Pokemon. That looks like leaving the area. Uh, some of the Pokemon games, it looks like they'll re-release the same types of Pokemon. It's like Kamala is kind of like Spinda, like a not super strong, normal type marsupial or bear, or something. You know, they're all kind of... They all kind of have... similar Pokemon. So, another Rabombi. And what's this? More Nectar. I suppose. And an item here. An Adrenaline Orb. And that's the... That's an exit to the north. Some grassy area here, a Zygarde cube. This is an exit, I guess, like what, like northeast? Looking at the map, it looks like there's kind of like a circly area there. Uh, am I done with this? the trainer battles here? Can I... Uh, looks like one more. Then I can probably head back to that golfer and take him on with his red shirt matching the red meadows. Office worker Michelle. This isn't an office. You're out in the meadow. Where? There's not even an office around for miles. Unless she works in Poe City, which was pretty much taken over. Ooh, Torco learns drought? Sweet. I mean, it's not ideal in that I'm a bug Pokemon fighting a Torco in the sun. But maybe I can... I can't take it out with one spark. Protect would have been a free switch. Shoot. Oh god, it's gonna take three of them. Let's just hope he doesn't go for a fire attack three turns in a row. Luckily, he can't paralyze me because I'm part electric. He's spamming protect. Ooh, if I'm lucky, maybe he will uh, waste out the turns of the sun. Or he'll go for protect again right now. Nope, goes for Lava Plume. I am a dead, dead Bugnitude. Now I lived. So in that last trainer battle, uh, Marini actually learned... Oh, nice! The starters are now evolving. Marini just learned Recover, and now I'm thinking Marini's Marini's pretty badass. Uh, she's got Toxic Spikes and Recover, so she could be a potential... I keep saying she. Could be a he. Could, uh, could be a potential starter. So, we haven't seen the final evolution of this yet. Hal hasn't brought one out against us. So, this is gonna... <laughs> this is new. This is new. So, I'm thinking... Like, slender, long cat kind of, Nope, completely wrong. What? <laughs> Incineroar. And he's... Oh my word. He's like Beauty and the Beast style beast. Look at this thing. With like a, a wrestler's belt on. He's got like dark... I'm feeling he's not pure fire. Like maybe he's fire dark. That's... I, I kind of anticipated that might be the case from the beginning. But now that he's wearing the belt, I don't know. It could be part fighting. I'm going to stick with Dark. I'm, th I'm thinking Fire Dark. All the other starters have dual typing. I, I feel like it would be a waste for him to be pure Fire. But let's see what he's got. He is Fire Dark. Okay. That makes sense. He's got the, the black and red look going on. So another Fire Dark Pokemon uh, along the same lines as uh, Houndoom. And he wants to learn a move. What's he got? Darkest Lariat. Oh man, that sounds really cool. Uh, let's forget an old move. 
Darkest Lariat. 85 power. The user swings both arms and hits the target. The target's stat changes don't affect this attack's damage. Well, I mean, cool. It's stronger than Crunch. So for that reason, it's, it's worth slotting. Not many Pokemon uh, boost their defenses. That's not super common. I mean, some Pokemon might use Calm Mind. There are a few bulk uppers, of course. Where goes one, so goeth the other. Dartrix is now evolving. This is cool. Dart tricks. Throws it. Bullseye accuracy. I see. I see where that joke comes from now. Dart tricks. So, what's he gonna become though? Oh! <laughs> Decidui. Decide. Decidui? Decidui. I'm missing the pun here. I mean, obviously, decide, and then I. I don't, I don't, I don't super get it. I don't, I, I'll be honest, I don't super get this one. I might have to look it up. But I love the cloak. Oh, I love it. It's... Really cool looking. Grass Ghost. He dropped the flying typing all together. That changes things. Before I was talking about, uh, I was talking about Roost. I'm sure he still probably learns Roost because he's a bird. But, man, that really changes things. He's going to learn a ghost move. Spirit Shackle. Yep, seems like it. What's Spirit Shackle? Does it lower their speed because Shackle? The user attacks while simultaneously stitching the target's shadow to the ground to prevent the target from escaping. Really, really cool. So like an attacking version of a scary look and an attacking version of the ability Arena Trap or... Uh, oh god, what's the other one called? That Gengar learns spirit... Bonders, I don't remember. Something like that. So we're... Oh man, that's Grass Ghost. So really just like another Trevenant. Another Trevenant and uh, Pumpkaboo. So we can talk to this guy here now. Several of my Pokemon are weak, but I don't think it matters. He's just going to Z-move me with one of his Pokemon. He's talking about a, uh, a flame orb. I didn't really read everything he had there. I was kind of rushing through it a little bit. But if he's got a flame orb, I'll take one. I'm not going to complain about that. My phone's about to go off. I can tell you that much. There it is. There it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's got two Pokemon. One of them's a Hariyama. Uh, if he's talking about flame orb, he's probably playing with guts. Maybe that was the point of everything here. Uh, I could hit him with a acrobatics. 110 power, super effective, 220 power, versus regular effective. Yeah, let's go acrobatics. No! He's faking me out to buy him a turn so he gets burned by the flame orb. I knew it! I'm wise to your tricks, Harry Yama. Oh my god, get almost defeated. This is gonna kill me though. No, I resist it. Come on, only get two. Yes. Get defeated by your own flame orb, Hariyama. My goodness. How embarrassing. Alakazam. Is he gonna trick me a flame orb? Is that his whole is that his whole thing? Let's get Incineroar in here, because I don't mind if you trick me a flame orb because I'm fire type, and also I'm dark type, so. Mmm. You know what I mean? Pow. Give him the old... God, I love the way he stands. He's like... To be... Or not to be. Darkest Lariat. I knew it! Did I call this or did I call this? I called it, and thank you for the Flame Orb. 
Bump. You are fired, sir. And you didn't even burn me. Because I outsmarted you. You dummy. <laughs> Incineroar. Oh yeah, let's have a look at the stats. Yeah, definitely an attacker. Kind of slow. Average defenses. Decent HP. I guess I'm burned out after all. No, that's not how he just sound. He's a golfer, so he just has a, you know, a normal, normal voice. So he's gonna give me a flame orb. Cool. Very cool. I used flame orb in a GBA battle once. I flung it. I, I put it on a blissey, and I clicked fling, and I tried to, and I burned a landorus eye. Uh, so, I guess we're done with the meadows here. I'm gonna heal up because I've got a couple of weakened Pokemon. That was a really easy... That was a really easy battle. I, I know we're going to Po Town. So, I but I don't know whether that's north... North... East... Or west. And it didn't... Normally they would gate it. They would put like a, a building or a person in the way. A man riding on a Stoutland who says, Oh, I can't do that. Look, another cell. Let's, uh, let's... Let's head down California way. Let's just keep running north. Maybe, maybe that's the correct... Maybe that's the correct way. Route 17. The lowlands that leads... The lowland that leads below Po Town. So probably I'm going the right way. But that makes me wonder what's going on in the other two routes. And we're starting to get a lot of different... You can go this... Oh, this isn't a different route. This is just a, a hill that leads me to an X, an X special defense. So then what was this other way? The Lake of the Sun. Or the Soon. Is he going to let me go across already? Oh, you're that trainer who's always popping up into the Pokemon Center, aren't you? This place may have fallen to ruin, but still spectacular, wouldn't you say? Even if there's nothing to see here now, I can't help but thinking that being nothing here now belies the, possi belies the possibility that something could be here. Something wondrous. Well... Pokemon Sun and Moon. Okay, well, he said there's nothing here now. I'm not going to bother going in there yet. We'll, we'll figure this out later. I want to speak to this trainer. Crumbling old shrine. What happened to it in the past? So who knows? Who does know what happened to it in the past? Is this another Robombi? Sure is. Sure is, Cotton. Continuing on our merry, beautiful little way. We head up, having explored those areas and now knowing... That there's stuff amiss. There's a Meowth over here. Uh, I'm actually not all that good in fights, but no one will pick fights with me as long as I'm in Team Skull, you know? That's not true. Everybody wants to pick fights with you. Or rather, you want to pick fights with everyone. What is this? This is a sign. Po Town Police Station. Remember, good neighbors always talk. Mm -hmm. Always? This is nothing but Meowths running this police station. And there's a, what, like a cell in the background? Ah, the strange creature. Cena wants to talk to you. Zzzt. I see you've collected another Zygarde core. Each of these cores, core moves are memorized by the Zygarde cubes. They can teach Zygarde moves as many times as you'd like. Everything's up to you. Bon chance. I still don't fully get what's going on here. There's just cat bowls everywhere. I think emphasizing the point that the cops don't really do anything in this area. This is a cop-free zone. We're in Route 17. We got a trainer battle here. I hate serious people, yo. I am serious about being a Team Skull grunt, though. Hey, it rhymes. Let's uh, quickly get through this battle. Salandit so goes down along with that Weak little thug. 
Uh, what we got up here? Cool little... I'm feeling a little... I'm gonna be honest, I'm feeling a little battled out. Um, I might explore this area a little bit more off... off camera. But it's already looking to be a pretty big area. We've had a lot of battles in this episode. The last episode had a lot of um, a lot of battles too. I'm kind of waiting for something more interesting to happen because they are really loading me up here. I, I like I like this game to mix it up. You know, I, I like having a few battles here, then going into a little bit of a story there, then doing a trial, and like progressing. I don't like running through zones just for the sake of running through zones. What a terrible day, he says. Um, I think my other starters are getting to a pretty pretty decent level now, so I, uh, I imagine I can actually lead with them. So, let's move this to Incineroar. Let's have Incineroar be my lead now. Um, I'm actually going to use it. I'm going to use a... I'm going to use a Repel here. Super Repel, EPL. Trainer tips. Let's hop down here and... Oh, no! Item. Full heal. Very cool. Anything to sniff out up here? Don't think so. And the trainer tip is... Pokemon that you drop off at Pokepelago's Isle of, you, Isle of You will grow more friendly towards you, but don't leave them in the hot spring baths too long or they might get overheated. Shoot, two different directions. Let's go to the right first and get the Zygarde cube. And then to the right. And we avoid a trainer battle. But we probably need to do that trainer battle, so let's go right then left, and then we go left then left. Nope. Wrong button. There we go. Oh, we could have gone this way the whole time. If we'd just gone double left, it would have been the same. But I imagine I need to go left then hard left to see another option. Lots of little mazes. This is a big zone. Team Skull Grunt, two Pokemon. All right, next. Next, next, next. Let's have a look. This does send me to another area, it looks. Uh, with a TM. Repels effect wore off, so let's hop back on my little Mon friend. Mon frere. Uh, this takes me there. Okay, so we're not missing. We haven't missed anything else back on this way. If we'd run up north. We just seen that, so let's tuck in. Did I go over here? Did I look over here? Yes, I did. I may have wasted this entire repel. Sniffing it out. Sniffing. Keep sniffing. Aha! Oh, I ran out of repels. Poison jab is a good move. Competitively viable. Very useful to have. I'm out of repels. I'm gonna have to buy some more of those because those are those are kind of a big deal. I'm not sure what these markers are. We've got a Zygarde cube there, or a Zygarde cell. And we've got another battle here. Oh boy! Let's keep this going. This episode's reaching a point where it should be nearing an end. And maybe right, I think up ahead, we might be looking at some guards. Hopefully, that's what we need to enter Poe Town. Defeated. And on we go. I see two people. Oh no, the repel's worn off. I forgot about that. One more battle. What's one more battle? Another gumshoe. Because they're annoying, like, having gum on your shoe. <laughs> oh, clever old me.
couple of berries here. Two Rost strawberries. And a citrus berry. Competitively viable berry. It's a berry tree. Sure is, Cotton. No! Gah. <sighs> Ooh, a Pancham. That's, I guess, kind of cool. I think I already caught one of these. But he's breaking some molds. Why not? We'll catch another one. That's a Pancham for you, folks. I already had one, but why not? Mo Pancham, less prop, less problems. <laughs> Send him to the box. So a lot of repeat Pokemon, and this. Yo, what up? You want to join Team Skull? Hold up, is this Z Ring? For real? You're actually on Island Challenge. All right then, I get it. Come to laugh at us losers who gave up on Island Challenge, huh? You show up suddenly and you have nerve to laugh at me? Olga, the Team Skull grunt and her compatriot, Yo Doggity. It's his rap name. They don't even have names, they're just grunts. That's all they're that's all they're called. Drowsy and a haunter. If Lariat attacks both targets, this is gonna be a quick battle. These two were very well equipped to take on our opponents. Uh, a ghost type and a dark type, and who cares that there's grass and fire involved in that. Uh, Decidueye is fast enough to outspeed the haunter, and swing low sweet lariat was uh, super effective against the drowsy, both hitting on the weaker defense side. Easy. Now we got an old man here. Looks like a retired cop. Seems you're trying to get into Poe Town. You sure you've thought this through? You better be ready if you're thinking of coming in here. Ready to live as Team Skull, or ready to take on Team Skull? You really think you're ready for that? I guess everyone has their own reasons. I've got my reasons, too, for doing what I do. I'll have them let you in. If you don't make it, I'll be sure your remains at least get back home. That's such a fucked up thing to say to a child. You decrepit old man. But we're entering Poe Town, and that's actually going to be where we end this episode. On the next episode, we will take on Poe Town. It's looking to be like there's going to be a lot more battles again. Again. Recently, in this last little chain, it's just been battle after battle after battle. It hasn't been a whole lot else uh, going on. No, no puzzles, no challenges, or anything like that. So let's finish this dialogue at least. Uh huh. What's this numbskull doing here? What or what should we do? Forget about it. We got this barbarical. I mean, we got this barricade. Do you really just want to bother moving it out of the way just to take one kid on? True, true. Go home. Go. You're not coming in here. You got it? Not unless you find some path through here. Now we can end the episode. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.